Hello everyone. This presentation is done by Gurima Malik, Assistant Professor at Dr. D.Y. Patil Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. Today we are going to discuss about the layout of housekeeping department. The learning objective for today's session is to understand the different layouts of housekeeping department, various sections of housekeeping department and functions of various sections of housekeeping department. Let us understand the layout of housekeeping department in a large hotel. Florist room, then housekeeping supply store, housekeeping control room, lost and found room, secretary room, next to it executive housekeeper's cabin, then sewing room. Linen store, linen, and uniform room with employee exchange counter and laundry. Normally layout of housekeeping department decided by the executive housekeeper at the facility planning stage in setting up the hotel. It also dependent on the size of the hotel. The factors which are taken into consideration when deciding on the area and layout are, total numbers of guest rooms, numbers of food and beverage outlets, amount of manpower required, volume of business anticipated, number of jobs contracted and flow of traffic, people and equipment. So, this is the layout of a budget hotel. You can see in this layout, the layout is very small. Executive housekeeper cabin, control desk, lost and found room, florist room, housekeeping stores, tailor's room, linen and uniform room and laundry. Let's see the functions of various sections in housekeeping department. Executive housekeeper's cabin The executive housekeepers should have an independent cabin, since it is administration center of the department. A glass paneled door office with blinds to provide privacy at times, such as when meetings are conducted and confidential issues are discussed, is most appropriate. The cabin should have one entrance cum exit door where entry is controlled by the secretary. Ample built, in shelves and cupboards with locks should be provided to store files and records. Assistant housekeeper cabin, a smaller cabin should be provided for the assistant housekeeper. Preceding the executive housekeeper's cabin. Storage area for documents is essential in the assistant housekeeper's cabin. Desk control room, this is the communication hub of the housekeeping department and this desk is manned 24 hours a day. It should normally adjoin the executive housekeeper's cabin, as this the point where all staff report duty and sign out at the end of their shift. It should have a large notice board to pin up information for staff. It should have more than one telephone connection and shelves for storage of files and registers. Linen room, this room where the linen in circulation is stored for issue when received from the laundry. It should be situated next to laundry. The room should be large, secure, airy, and free from humidity. There should be adequate shelves and racks to stock all linen. Lost and found room, this is usually an area set aside in the desk control room away from high traffic areas. A cupboard with good locking mechanism should be provided here for storing the lost and found articles so that they may be claimed later. Uniform room, this is the room where all the uniforms are hanging. Proper shelves are there for regular hardy uniforms like chef's jackets. Exchange counter is also there for exchanging of uniforms. Housekeeping stores, this is a room to store items such as cleaning supplies, and so on, which are issued on a daily basis. It should ideally be clean, dry, and securely locked. Heavy equipment store. This room is used to store bulky equipment and items such as vacuum cleaners, carpet shampoo machines, ladders, rollaway beds, and mattresses. It should be clean, dry, cool room that can be locked when not in use. Sewing room, this room is used to repair work carried out on linen, uniforms, and soft furnishings. It should be large enough to accommodate sewing machines, an ironing table and space for items to be repaired. Floor pantry, these are located on each guest floor to keep a stock of linen, guest supplies, and maid's cart and cleaning supplies for particular floor. A floor pantry stores a complete set of linen for the whole floor over and above what is already in circulation in the rooms. It should have shelves and cupboards. Flower room, this should be an air-conditioned room to keep flowers fresh for the flower arrangements required by the hotel. It should have a work table, counters, a sink, adequate water supply, containers, and other accessories. 
Thank you.